This is William Burr. Bill Burr was born June 10, 1968, and is an American stand-up comedian, actor, filmmaker, and podcaster. He has released multiple stand-up comedy specials, most notably Why Do I Do This, 2008, Let It Go, 2010, You People Are All the Same, 2012, I'm So Sorry You Feel That Way, 2014, Walk Your Way Out in 2017, Paper Tiger, 2019. Play hard. It's like some 60-pound dork standing there wearing the shirt going, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm crazy. I got no fear. <laughs> I think you should have the real slogans across these t-shirts, like, no girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Living at home with parents. 83 Escort. Yeah! He has received a Grammy nomination for Paper Tiger and a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Actor in a short-form comedy series, series in Moral Compass. I'm just tell you some shit. I wish somebody else had told me before I ended up like this. Oh my god, go, go! Don't let I've been watching you for the past nine months. I get it. That person's a piece of shit. But what about you? Where do you live? I don't have to tell you. Wait, Principal Henderson? Oh, sh Bill Burr also created and co wrote and voiced the lead character in the Netflix animated sitcom F is for Family, which ran from 2015 to 2021. Can you hold down the fort while I'm gone? You're just gonna leave me alone with these animals? You leave them with me. But that's our deal. You know what you were getting into when you let me get into you? Gross! Kids, don't bother your mom today. She's busy with the little hobby. It's a job. Yes, fine, good job. I'll make dinner. Salisbury steak or pork medley? Oh, not that shit again. What was that? Yummy! The other notable acting roles include Patrick Covey in the AMC series Breaking Bad, Mix Mayfield in Disney Plus's series The Mandalorian. Earth alert. Open fire. Hose here! They get a signal out, it's not gonna matter! Well, I was so far down the road as a comic by the time I got that. Sure. That, that got me was acting work. Okay. That Did you have got, fun doing it? Got, it's oh, so man, dope I had to a watch. Blast. Man. I really? had a blast. Well, there's a guy over there, Gary Marcus, who I, I first worked with on a Mike Binder film called Black or White. And he's just one of those guys, you can just tease him and he loves it. Mm -hmm. So the running gag the whole day is just basically, you know how he still has a career yeah he's great at what he does it's yeah. just a total before we get started please like and subscribe we'll be right back and remember it's just humor hey what's going on it's bill burr and i'm just checking in on you can open that gift i'm moving out i said moving out born in canton massachusetts on june 10th 1968 he is the son of a nurse linda ann and dentist Robert Edmund Burr. He is of German and Irish descent. And Bill, he graduated from high school in 1987, would later go on in 1993 and obtain his bachelor's degree in radio from Emerson College in Boston. One of his professors was the writer, David Foster Wallace. He worked in a warehouse before starting his comedy career, later stating that he enjoyed the freedom of the job. Bill Burr's first performance in stand-up comedy was in March 2nd, 1992, at the age of 23. He moved to New York City in 1994. This is where I, I, I started doing stand-up comedy, and I started at Nick's Comedy Stop, which I now believe is some sort of dance club. Right down here, Warrington Street, I believe this is. I don't even know, this was Nick's Comedy Stop. There's the sign. Dave Russo's there tonight, George Hamm. I know all those guys, they used to have a big sign, Nick's Comedy Stop. That's where I started. Right-hand side, I used to, uh, for my first, gigs I used to do radio in there on WERS 88.9 WERS a broadcast service of Emerson College since May 2007 Bill has recorded a weekly one-hour podcast Bill Burr's Monday morning podcast in which he speaks about experience current events going on tour and sports and offers advice to questions submitted by listeners the podcast is available on Burr's website Spotify YouTube and all things comedy network he co-founded in 2012 he is sometimes joined by his wife, Nia, and has featured guests and in interviews with his other comedian friends. Get me some water now. Come back. Jesus Christ. Yes, you're a, I'm a man. I asked you to do something. You're a woman. You go and you do it and you don't ask questions. Bill, I swear to God. <laughs>
<laughs> Bill has also appeared as a guest on radio shows and other comedian podcasts such as You Made It Weird with Pete Holmes, The Adam Carolla Show, The Joe Rogan Experience. Burr was the first guest on Tom Crean's podcast on April 18th, 2011. On August 21st, 2022, he became the first comedian to perform at Fenway Park in front of a sold-out crowd of around 35,000 people. It was also the largest comedy show in history in Boston. Bill has had sold-out shows at Madison Square Garden on November 14, 2015. Bill also holds the record for the most consecutive sold-out shows at the Wilbur Theater, where he performed 19 sold-out shows in a row, almost doubling the record of 10 set by Azi Anasari. Bill Burr sold out 20,000 seats at the Los Angeles Forum on September 28, 2018. On September 16, 2021, he sold out Red Rocks Amphitheater. In the 2008 video game Grand Theft Auto 4, Burr voiced Jason Michaels of the biker gang The Lost MC in the mission No Love Lost. In 2009, he reprised the role in the game's expansion pack The Lost and Damned. Bill's first hour-long special Why Do I Do This in 08 was filmed in New York, whereas Bill Burr's special Let It Go was recorded at the Fillmore in San Francisco and premiered on Comedy Central on September 18, 2010. A later special, You People Are the Same, premiered in 2012 as a Netflix exclusive. In 2014, Bill filmed his fourth hour-long special, I'm Sorry You Feel That Way, in Atlanta, Georgia. You some kid that works in a sweatshop. Like, find the kid that made this shirt. You show up at the factory like, hey, I'm dead. Dude, the helicopter is the ultimate I'm out vehicle. All you gotta do is assess the situation. Zombie coming up the street, this. Unusual modern comedy specials. The film was shot in black and white. He was also a regular on The Chappelle Show. Bill Burr has appeared in the movie Date Night as Detective Walsh. He has also appeared in fourth and fifth season of AMC's Breaking Bad. Dude, oh. what are you doing? Yo, oh. hey, quit screwing around. Oh. We are here to do a job, not channel Scrooge McDuck. He has also played Mark Mullins in 2013 buddy cop film, The Heat, featuring Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy. Hello, Sorry? Knock. Knock. I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Knock. A knock. Am I speaking Japanese? Yeah, listen to him. I'm going to sound it out for you. Are you or are you not a knock? Like Johnny Depp in 21 Jump Street. Ah, oh, like, I see, I see. Okay, a, a knock. A knock, oh, yes. Yes, yes. No, what, you, what was I saying? I was missing the R. What, was saying? Uh, what are you? What, what are you doing here? Bill Burr's fifth hour long special, Bill Burr, Walk Your Way Out, debuted on Netflix in 2017. Trash it. It's like, yeah, this is all coming from. I'm a strong five. All right? That's where I am. So I still feel like I'm punching up here. You know? Honestly, people, I'm a bald, red-headed male. You don't think there's a glass ceiling on the kinds of parts I can get in Hollywood? Really? You think I'm ever gonna be the lead in a romantic comedy? That ain't happening! He appeared in a third episode titled Bill Burr of the second season of HBO series Crashing. Bill Burr has voted for the Green Party candidate Ralph Nader in 2000 election. In an interview with Forbes, Burr has stated that his belief that political correctness does not address the problem. It is aimed at fixing such as racism because it only forces the vocabulary people use rather than changing the attitudes that people have. He has also said that political correctness has no answer or impact on other major social political issues such as power held by banks and pharmaceutical companies. Bill married actress producer Nia Renee Hill in 2013. They reside in Los Angeles. Look at this person here. Look at the fucking view this person has. That's probably like $1.8 million. This guy can watch the entire valley burn every year in September. Oh my. <laughs> is a licensed helicopter pilot and a trained drummer. He also enjoys heavy metal music and is a fan of ACDC, Led Zeppelin, Metallica, and Pantera, just to name a few. He has a disgusting love of smoking cigars. If you want to 
full, rich tobacco, refreshed with a light touch of menthol, you had to smoke another kind. Now you get both. One of his first roles was in the movie, 2001's Perfect Fit, as the role of a doorman. On television, he has also been featured in 1996's Townsies as Ryan Callahan, 1998's Two Guys and a Girl, his podcast, 2007 to present, Monday Morning Podcast. Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Monday Morning Podcast for Monday! Bill Burr's most recent comedy special live at Red Rocks in 2022. Like a band you can't stand and you just, they haven't put out an album in a few years. You're like, oh good, did they quit? Did they break up? And all of a sudden they come out with some more shit. You're like, oh fuck, what is it now? Bill Burr's comedy style. Bill has been referred to a comedian's comedian by observers of American stand-up comedy circuit. According to an article, Rolling Stone magazine called Bill the undisputed heavyweight champion of rage-fueled humor. Burr often portrays himself as a loud guy in the bar with a quick-to-anger attitude. Get some stop and shop cornflakes in the welfare bag. Well, what's that look? Are you going to take a swing at me? Is today the day? Huh? Is today the day you take a swing at your old man? Is that what it is? Come on, you a man now? Then take some! In an interview with the Boston Globe, Bill has stated, I'm the dude bro guy. According to Montreal Gazette, Bill is a cynic and a contrarian who has never paid any heed to political correctness. In 2013, New York Times called Bill one of the funniest and most distincting voices in the country for years. Bill Burr was also a friend of the late Norm Macdonald. What is Bill up to today? In March 2022, it was announced that Bill will make his feature directorial debut with Old Dads, which he will also write and star in. If you like this type of contact, please like and subscribe and let us know what comedian bio you would like us to do next. Thank you and good night.